Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Okay, gentlemen, are you finding a few extra hairs on your pillow? This, this morning, Charlie, we are exploring new ways to keep your dome covered. Is that what you call it, a dome? My dome. Well, something for all the gentlemen who are watching their hair disappear. If bald isn't an option for you, stay right here. We're going to explain. All right, we are back. Hey, quick shout out to little Gabsy in Escondido. She's getting ready for school right now. Get ready for school at Heritage Digital Academy. Okay, here we go. There's a new hope for men, uh, the men who are not ready to go bald. What man is ready to go bald, I want to know. Dr. Ken Williams here to show you uh, really a new kind of hair restoration which is now available for men. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Raul. It's okay. good to be here. Yeah, think, nice to have you. I want to get first, uh, how early can hair loss start? Because I remember when I was a junior in high school, so that's around fi uh, 15, 16 years old, one of my classmates actually had thinning, almost balding hair at 16. Absolutely. And some patients, and I see half of my patients mm -hmm. who are in the 20 to 30-year-old hair group yeah. where they're losing hair. And it can begin as early as the teenage years. But yeah, 20 to 30 years And it's progressive age, too, right? Absolutely. Once you begin to lose that hair, and some men are more genetically prone than others to lose the hair. It's progressive. It doesn't stop. And I can only assume, I mean, especially if it starts that early and then it progresses, it kind of affects your mood. It kind of, for lack of a better term, it bums you out a little bit because, you know, you're still a young man and your hair is falling out. For us men, our eagles are tied to yes. our hair. And if we have a good looking do, we're looking great, and when we don't have a receding hairline, we look youthful and we feel like men. Before we get to the procedure and everything else, I want to know, can you clarify once and for all for me, people always say it's your grandfather on your mother's side, that if he's bald, you're going to be bald. Is that true or is that false? Actually, roll. Oh. Genetics play yes. a role from both your mother and really? father, absolutely, and it can skip generations, but both sides play a role in whether you're going to have hair or not. Okay, so let's talk about the procedure here, and, and what does it entail, and, and is how new is it, and how many people are actually using it? Okay, what I brought is the newest technology mm -hmm. and the newest ways to treat hair, and most importantly is to stabilize hair loss if you're a young man. So what we're doing is we're using Propecia, which blocts a certain hormone mm -hmm. in the body. And, and Propecia's been around for a while. Propecia's been around, it's the well established mm -hmm. uh, product, it's FDA approved. The other product is Rogaine. I often uh, say that this is like the fertilizer you put on the grass, mm -hmm. you put on the grass, you come back a week later, now it's green you got that big thick blade so that's important to stabilize the hair loss now uh, the, the newest surgical technology uh, we used to use a scalpel we used to use what we call the sutures and staples mm -hmm. and now we're using what we call neograft this is an automated procedure okay I don't use a scalpel we don't use these no anymore. Graft. Okay. We use a ne uh, we use what we call neograft. It's called automated FUE approach, and we take the device. This is just basically a big vacuum, sure. and it's attached to this device. It's like a dental uh, punch, and we take out the follicles one by one. The old way is where we would take out a big strip of uh, of tissue, and that's still used. That's a good technique. It's still around, okay. and most of my professional colleagues in this industry still use it. But this is the newest technology for the 21st century. Now, this is good for young men, or is it is it something for prevention, like you said? If, you, if you're starting to go bald, maybe kind of slow down the process a little bit? Excellent uh, concept and question. Yeah. Prevention is here with the Propecia, mm -hmm. and with blocking of the, of, the, uh, of the DHT with that, and putting on the fertilizer, if I can use the uh, the term to describe the sure thing. But the laser technology is the other non-surgical approach, and, and this is a great way. It's the surgical cap, and if I can show um, the viewers out there, oh, basically wow, it's, a, it's a cap, and this is laser light. You used to come into my office and sit underneath what looked like to be a hair dryer. Yeah. So now what we do is we put the laser cap on look for about, about 30 minutes uh, a day is all you wear it, and you're getting low uh -huh. laser light therapy. The best thing to hit uh, or to hit the market for young men to prevent hair loss. Unbelievable. Now you're you're not ashamed to say that you're actually. It's like the old commercial used to say, "I'm not just the president; I'm actually a client." Because you had this procedure done yourself, right? I, I've had this procedure done four yeah. years, if you, uh, or four times. Okay. In the last two years. If you were to see me before I started, I had no hair in my front really? hairline. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. And any shedding, anything like that? I used or, to I mean, look as good as you. Really? But, oh, uh, well, I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but but uh, I, I, I do, I've gone through four procedures. Mm -hmm. I have, I've had 4,500 grafts taken from the back of my head. Wow. Transplanted uh, to the front, and now I think I have a pretty decent hairline. I think it looked fantastic. So, so talk to me about. There's the picture. Your before, your before and after. Uh -huh, that's my preoperative picture. Are you serious? 
That's a Absolutely. huge difference. So oh, yeah. you said you've had it four times. So I mean, is this something that has to be done every every year, every few months? How does it no. work? Well, if you consider what I looked like before, I didn't mm -hmm. have any hair in my frontal hairline, and consider where I am now, I still have a lot more to go. We have about 10,000 uh, follicles on the top of our head that we can use to transplant from the back. You have good density here, and this hair in the back is resistant to miniaturization and loss. So we do, we put it in the front, and and that's what the framing of the face. You know, you're a good-looking young guy. You, you don't have any hair loss, you look great, but a lot of men don't yeah. have that framing of the face, hmm. and that's what gives us that youthful appearance. Are there any activities, any products, anything that, that, that we should avoid once you have the procedure to maybe kind of, you know, to make sure it sticks, I guess? A absolutely. Well, this particular procedure with the neograft, uh, the recovery period is very, very quick. In fact, we, we can now have a patient going back to the normal activities within one week. Within a week? That's yeah. pretty good. In fact, I had the surgery two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. I can turn around. Yes, let's. This let's, is let's, where we took the hair. No scar. From here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it painful? You know, we do it under local anesthesia. Local, the patient, so there is local anesthesia. There is okay. local. Um, we, we numb up the patient. Yeah. So it's just a little uh, needle that goes Ooh. into the tissues and, and numbs up the area. Pretty revolutionary, I guess. I mean, it gives hope to a lot of guys out there. Like, you know what? I want, I want a little bit more hair. Yeah. The, the neograph has been out in Asia and Europe for 10 years. It was recently, well, actually about two years ago, uh, the FDA approved it here for America. And I've been using it for about two years. Mm -hmm. I'm up in Orange County and I've been having a lot of patients. And I love it. And obviously, personally, it's made me a strong advocate for I, this. I got to ask, do women do this as well? Is that an option? Uh, women are equally effective really? with hair loss. Really? Yes, absolutely. Now, the hair loss for women may be a little bit different than men. So women require a medical workup and evaluation, whereas men, you know, they, they do require somewhat of a medical evaluation, but it's mostly genetics yeah. and, and hormones. What's the cost of something like this? Just curious. Uh, well, this range, is probably ballpark. Right. A range, if you do like a thousand graphs, you're looking about ten thousand uh, mm. dollars. If you do two thousand graphs, you're up around seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars. But it takes me twenty hours to do this procedure. Right. So I mean, it's not cheap, but you know what? If it's what you want, it's going to make you happy. Then. You decide where you spend your own money, I guess, the bottom line. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you, doctor. If you're interested in learning more information about the Neograph procedure, you can talk to Dr. Williams right here. We have posted a link on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Doctor, thank you very much. I like the hat. I want to put this thing back on. Absolutely. There you go. Here, you put it back on. There you go. Okay, how about that? There's your therapy right there. Shall we? That is really cool. Really cool. Thanks for being here.